times. And I think that really is a, is a wonderful link to our next speaker, Patrick San Francisco, who once said that wisdom comes from living in reality. And that reality can be as, as commonplace as a plastic bottle, or it can be the reality of a devastating earthquake. And how these two come together, the bottle and the tremor, is something that I will leave Patrick to explain. Patrick? Thank you, Ramu, and uh, greetings to everybody here. It's truly a pleasure to be here among so many uh, honorable people. But before I go ahead, I'd like to make a confession. I'm not an architect. I'm not a civil engineer. I'm, basic, I'm, not, I'm barely civil. <laughs> My wife will uh, attest to that. What struck me really was a question. You know, man has gone so far ahead in science and technology, gone to the moon, but we've not so solved the basic problems of housing, food, water. Why? Is it that we don't want to solve them? It seems to me that way. So I thought about it and I took the first question of housing into the into, into question and I said, decided, all right, let's think about housing, but there should be three basic facts for housing. One is it should be low cost, two is the material should be easily available, and three, it should be so simple that anyone can put it up for themselves. So working on these three initiatives, I first thought about the humble pet bottle, pet plastic bottle. In urban areas, it has become actually a pestilence because the empty bottles are lying all over the place. They, do, they don't go away. So by filling it with earth and putting back the cap on, I got a brick that doesn't go away. So I got a bottle brick that doesn't go away. But how to bind it together? All my friends who are architects and engineers told me, Patrick, it's not going to work. You can't bind plastic with cement. So I thought a little bit about it and I thought, what could I do to bind the bottles um, despite the, the fact that it's not uh, congenial with cement? I thought of the nylon fishnet. And by linking the bottle caps together, I made a wall bound together and I'll show you a little while later how it works. But then what to do for, to make it affordable the bottle brick was fairly inexpensive, but I still wanted to reduce the cost. And I realized that in construction, steel is one of the most expensive com components. So I thought of using the same fishnet to, re to replace the steel. But before that, I had to study steel. I'm not a very good student. But what I realized is that steel actually is an enemy to concrete. In summer, it expands more than the cement, cracking it. In winter, it contracts more than the cement, cracking it again. Well, that doesn't happen with nylon, fishnet. Then I thought about impact. When you impact a concrete slab with steel inside it, the steel inside vibrates like little mini hammers, increasing the cracking. Whereas, with, again, there's no vibration with nylon fishnet. So I boldly went ahead and built a little house out of fishnet. And now I will show it to you. Founded in India in 2006 with a vision to shed light even in the darkest corners, the Samapan Foundation provides support and assistance of any kind where there is a humanitarian, ecological, environmental or animal welfare need. In 2014, Samapan Foundation devised a low-cost, ecologically friendly construction method using nylon 6 fishnet to replace steel within the structural slabs and recycled plastic pet bottles packed with earth to replace conventional baked bricks. This method of construction replaces steel in the building of dwellings in remote and difficult circumstances and in disaster areas. Regionally adaptable, Samapan's construction method is proven to withstand earthquakes up to 9.8 on the Richter scale. This unique construction method provides impoverished communities and disaster areas with the opportunity to construct affordable dwellings, recycle waste, and create sustainable futures. Samapan Foundation has successfully built a hospital, 
health and education centers, a nursery, and water towers in remote, difficult circumstances and disaster areas across India and Nepal. Construction has been initiated in South Africa to build a hospice and rehabilitation facility, educational centers, and a community kitchen and lavatory facilities. Samapan Foundation's construction method is affordable. Nylon 6 fishnet costs a mere 5% of the cost of steel. And in India, building with PET bottle bricks and Nylon 6 fishnet reduces the building cost by 60%. Not only are the materials used within construction low cost, they are readily found locally, and if not, they are easily transportable to remote locations and disaster areas. The fishnet and pet bottle construction process begins with tightly packing the discarded, used 500ml and 1 litre pet bottles with mud, sand or fly ash to ensure no give. A foundation trench is then dug as per the load bearing capacity of soil at the construction site. 15 centimetres of plain cement concrete, PCC, is then laid at the base of the foundation trench. The filled bottles are then placed in the trench at twice the width of the wall up to ground level width. Cement mortar slurry, one cement is to six sand, is then poured between the bottles. The nylon six fishnet, 210 denier, three ply, three centimetres by three centimetres, and fishnet ropes are placed over the foundation. The fishnet ropes are made by using nylon 6 fishnet cut into widths of 20 squares wide, then twisted to make fishnet ropes. On the foundation, over the fishnet ropes and fishnet, bottles are arranged in the configurations 1 and 2. Windows are created. The lintel is made by pulling the fishnet ropes and fishnet at extreme tension from 60 centimetres beyond the window. Doors are created. The lintel is made by pulling the fishnet ropes and fishnet at extreme tension from 60 centimetres beyond the door. Once the wall has reached the required height, with course configurations 1 and 2 stacked successively, the fishnet is linked with the bottle caps on the projecting outside surface of the wall, interlocking and creating a continuity between successive layers, thereby making the bottles one continuous structure. Casting the ceiling. Normal conventional shuttering, either steel or wood, is provided beneath the fishnet and the fishnet ropes that make up the roof space. The slab is cast on top over the fishnet bracings and cross bracings with a layer of fishnet over the top. A concrete mixture, one part of cement, three parts of sand, three parts of gravel, 16 millimetres, is poured over the fishnet and the ceiling is cast. A 500ml pet bottle is placed at 1 metre intervals along each rope to support the ceiling fishnet rope and a 1 litre pet bottle is placed at the edge to support the vertical fishnet rope. The horizontal pet bottles are placed 100mm above slab bottom. The walls then have to be plastered with cement plaster to cover the fishnet and bottle caps completely. Parts of fishnet rope and fishnet in front of the wall openings are also trimmed and then the ends are melted with flame. This first of its kind construction method is certified earthquake resistant up to 9.8 on the Richter scale. Summerpound Foundation's method of construction has been tested and certified by the Structural Engineering Research Centre, a constituent of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research in India. The structure, when tested within the laboratory, withstood 18 simulated earthquakes ranging from 1.56 to 9.8 on the Richter scale. In 2014, within the remote and hostile environment of Bali Island, Sundarbans, West Bengal, India, Samapan Foundation constructed and opened within the same year a 650 square metres 30 bed charity hospital using pet bottles and nylon 6 fishnet. The unnecessary loss of life due to lack of medical facilities for the 95,000 people living on the islands prompted Samapan Foundation to build a state of the art medical centre, complete with the latest diagnostic equipment, operation theatre, emergency room, and ICU. 
the hospital is not only earthquake proof up to 9.8 on the Richter scale, it is also flood proof up to 1.5 meters and cyclone proof designed to withstand wind loads from wind speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour associated with cyclones. Within the rural environment of Red Hills, Chennai, India, Samapan Foundation has completed a prototype double story construction. Built using conventional bricks and nylon six fishnet, this building proves the high tensile strength and second story load bearing success of replacing steel with fishnet within the concrete slab. Stairs have been constructed using only nylon six fishnet and concrete. No steel reinforcement has been used. At two Indian locations, Bali Island Sundarbans in West Bengal and Red Hills in Chennai, eight meter high water towers holding 6,000 liters of water have been built. These four column structures have been constructed using PET bottle and nylon six fishnet construction. No steel has been used. The Sundarbans Tower, despite being built on clay, which liquefies when it rains, has withstood the recent Nepal earthquake and cyclonic conditions. Our projects are managed by a dedicated team of international volunteers who do what needs to be done to achieve the greatest good for the greatest number. Samapan's mission is to change universal consciousness by opening minds and hearts through empowering volunteers to care for vulnerable, hungry and destitute people and animals. Please join us to bring about change. To donate, please contact donate at Samapan Foundation or visit our website at samapanfoundation.org to find out more. Thank you for your generosity. I also have to clap because it's not just my uh, project, it's the whole foundation. I cannot take any credit really. I just gave the, the idea and it was performed by the, the volunteers. Now you saw some of the people there. One of the younger ladies there, she wasn't an architect, she wasn't an engineer, but she actually built that I also the have whole, to clap whole hospital. It's not just my uh, project, it's the whole foundation. <laughs> I can't I was just wondering how really. come they allowed that guy in? <laughs> and by the, the volunteers. Now you saw some of the people there. One of the younger ladies there. She wasn't an architect. Thank you. Nice engineer. hearing you. But she, if she would keep quiet for a minute, I'll let me carry on with my talk. I also the whole, the whole hospital. It's not just my... <laughs> can we do something about that? <laughs> I like his hair. <laughs> okay, now you're live, so it's okay. Okay. So you're just so, All right. Okay. So you saw that house, you saw that hospital. Would you like to live in a building like that? Does it look like it's recycled and made of junk? No. That's the key. It's got to be psychologically also satisfying. A person should want to be able to want to live in that. Not like, oh, I'm living in a... a lot of people live when I was building in Nepal. They said bottles, waste bottles, empty bottles. No, I'm not going to live in that. But the moment we built, did the first building, they said, oh yeah, this kind of a house, fine with me. Now, we did the simulated test in a laboratory. But what was really for me the crowning glory was that when we were building in Nepal, during the build construction while the cement was still wet, we had another earthquake of going 5.9 on the Richter scale. So I ran to the side thinking that's the end of my building, it's going to fall down because the cement was not even set, but not a crack was seen. And I couldn't believe it. I had the other volunteers examine every square inch of building. There was no cracks and the cement was still wet. So it just goes to show that that nylon six fishnet is really what is needed in construction today all over the world. Wherever there is a slightest chance of, an, of a tremor or an earthquake, we need that net. All the volunteers who have helped in the construction of this are not technically qualified. They have only one qualification, and that is they have the heart to do it. You just need the heart. Now, the hospital you saw in the Sundarbans, when we were building it, a building in Nepal after the earthquake, all the people who helped us there 
happily came across and the Sundarbans, for your information, is a hot, humid uh, location. They moved into the, into the Him Him Himalayan uh, heights to build for Nepal. Totally alien environment for them. So afraid of the earthquakes that are taking place almost every, every day, the aftershocks, but they were there building for the people of Nepal. I wish more people had that same fervor. I always say, if more people were for people, all people everywhere, there'd be a lot less people to worry about and a lot more people who care. So what my plea to all of you here is, don't just say it was a great video. Take it forward. We're, we're happy to give you any technical advice you want, any help you want. I'm willing to dirty my hands in the cement. I love doing that anyway. But take it forward. Build affordable housing for everybody. Let everyone have that sense of security. The greatest gift you can give man is the sense of security that I, he has his own home. Because the fear is when I grow old and I cannot earn, I cannot pay the rent, where do I go? But if a man has a sense of security, there is a roof over my head, regardless of my financial status. That is what the greatest gift you can give. So please join me in this. And now if anybody has any questions at all? I think we'll have that in the later half. All right. Of okay. So thank you very much for all your time. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Patrick, as you saw that.